Hello and welcome to Crime Dog. Today, a farmhand goes missing after being caught in a very, very compromising position. Since February 2022, nobody, not even his family, have heard from him. This is a missing persons case that has the French obsessed. What happened to Brice Luge? On the 18th of February 2022, Pierre leaves for a weekend hunting trip. He tries to contact his wife Nadine, who's back at the farm in La Barthe Rivière. They specialize in cattle farming for milk in saint gaudin in Haute-Garonne. And they have been a power couple for the last 25 years. Pierre can't get hold of her, and when a few hours go by with more unanswered calls and no reply, he starts to worry about her. But since he is out of town, he can't go to check on her, so he calls his son, who is not too far away from the family farm. He hastily drives to his mother's house, and when he arrives at around 1am, he finally finds her in her bedroom. But to his horror, she is not alone. This is every child's nightmare. He catches his mum in the act with a local boy who has been working on the farm for the family for the last three years. Brice Luge, 30 years old, is having an affair with his boss's wife. Her son is enraged and a huge argument breaks out between Brice and her son. Things get very heated and her son lashes out, violently hitting the walls, the doors, anything except allegedly Brice. They spill out onto the driveway and the son is still violently yelling, get out of our lives and never come back, you're fired. Brees speeds off in his bluey grey Clio campus until things cool off. At this moment, the son calls one of his friends who is serving in the French military and the friend comes to the house immediately to calm him down. About half an hour later, Brees arrives back at the house after receiving multiple calls from the son telling him to come back. And this time Nadine, her son and Brees are joined by the military friend. After some more arguing, Brees drives off for the last time on February 2022. And this is the last time anybody has seen or heard from Brees. The family are immediately concerned after not hearing anything from their son from this moment onwards and an investigation into a disturbing disappearance is opened. Neighbouring witnesses have come forward stating they've seen Nadine, her son and the military friend having long discussions in the early hours of the morning, but we do not know what they were discussing. To the dismay of Reese's family, the case has been assigned to the same team of French homicide detectives who are still investigating the disappearance of Delphine Jubilar. This could decrease one's hope of one day finding Brice alive. According to France 3, there have been traces of blood discovered in the bedroom, in the son's car and also in the military friend's car. But remember, this is a hunting family. Results when they came back showed that this was not Brice's blood. Search teams have meticulously swept huge areas of land and water using divers with sonar technology. There is presently no sign of Brice and his car also remains uncovered. The only thing that police find was his wallet, which they found at his home. The lawyer for the Luge family suggests that had this been an accident or a suicide, they would have found the car by now. That makes this a murder investigation. This is an open and active investigation, so if you have any information that could help with this case, then please do go forward to the police. This could help the family find Brees. This is currently all of the information that we have on this case, but I will keep you updated if any more information comes out. I just want to say a quick thank you to Ismael who requested that we cover this case. Thank you, Ismael. And if you have any requests, please do let us know in the comments. Thank you so much for being part of our crime family. We are so grateful to have you as part of our little community. So hopefully we'll see you again next time. Merci, à la prochaine. Bisous.